I have this Garmin GNS 480 radio that quit working. The screen went completely blank. I checked the power on the, um, what's it called, the tray that this slides into, and it had power coming out of that. So there's three fuses in here. I'm wondering if it's one of those fuses. I also purchased a battery that uh, is supposed to be the one for in there for the memory. I'll go ahead and replace that while I have it open. So first thing, I have no idea how this opens. Um, I've never seen a video on it, never seen any instructions. Garmin does absolutely nothing to make your life easier as far as this goes. They want approximately $1,200 to do anything to the radio, to look at it, to wave their hand over it, anything at all. So I figured I might as well give it a try. So I'm assuming these knobs have to come off in order to get the cover off because it goes underneath the faceplate. That knob, oh there it is. So they're a 050, 050 or 50 thousandths Allen wrench, the smallest one in my set. That takes those off. Now it looks like I need some Phillip tip screwdriver to take off the ones around the screws around the faceplate. Those two flip the screws on each side. Okay, let's see if this slides off. Mm. Oh, yeah. Sorry, three in the bottom. And two in the top. Interesting. So the faceplate has a connector which connects it into the body. So when you go to pull it off, it feels like it's uh, got some, uh, it's connected still. Now, I guess the next thing I see here is all these screws all the way around. Maybe this whole tray slides out then. So let's give that a whirl. One here, set the screws off a little bit. One, two, three, here. There's one there, okay. There's one on this side. Let me get to that kind of one, I'm gonna take it off anyway. Okay, the bottom here, there's several. In fact, there's one here broken. Well, the one here on this radio was out about 12 years ago, so I'm not gonna worry about that. This feels like it's wanting to come off here. It does. So on this side, we have some capacitors. I don't see, I don't see a battery anywhere. These are RL, RF shields typically. So nothing interesting there. I guess I'll continue on. Okay, it's interesting, there's two dark colored screws there. I'm not sure what's going on with that. So. Okay, I've taken off all the silver screws and it doesn't want to come off, so I guess I'll take off these two dark colored screws. I'll set those over by themselves. And I don't know if the screws are a different length, but I'm gonna label this, they're black. Okay, now. It seems like it wants to come up here. 
There we go. Okay, I gotta look under here and make sure. Okay. So there we have the main board. This appears to be the battery compartment. Now I'm looking for fuses. Two fans, capacitor, capacitor, capacitor. More shielding. Flip this over again. Wow. So if there is any, if there are any fuses, they must be further down into the bowels of this radio. I've heard that this Velcro is extremely tight in here. Let's see if I can pry this up. Oh, don't want to stab something. Kind of hear that Velcro coming loose. Okay. Lithium battery timekeeper. It's got a connector to it. Now, I was told this battery fits in that battery compartment. Let us see here. Nope. So the battery I was told fits in here. They're completely incorrect. It's a timekeeper TCP. 16p-co-f-s24 whoever said whoever said this was the correct battery sadly mistaken oh let me show this just for shits and giggles it has this connector on it. Okay, now I've got to get this. Back onto that pin. Okay, so that's plugged back in. Loop this back through here. Oh, the cap is coming off. Slide that back in there. Okay. That's that.